Hey guys, what's up man? I'm down here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And uh, this week I just want to talk to you about safety in regards to all the scooters. So when you come down south, uh, and really when you leave the United States, there's a lot of people who travel on scooters in these big cities. It's much easier to get around. There's normally scooters everywhere, but of course we bring the camera out to talk on this and all the scooters disappear. All right, but here's the big thing. The scooters that we're watching out for, we're watching out for two dudes on a scooter. There's a lot of people who are out here delivering food, doing other business services on the scooters, and it's a, a, a cheaper way of transportation for people, and uh, a lot of times it's just easier for that city environment. So if you see those scooters with the or the or with a, a big uh, cooler on the back, or you see the guys wearing the big cooler on their back, not so much a big deal. You see a dude and a girl on there, nah, usually not a big deal. But two dudes on a scooter, right? That's a red flag. We want to watch out for that. Two scooters with two dudes on it, really bad, okay? So what we'll see is that people will come up and the gunman is the one who sits on the back of the scooter, the front person's the driver. When you have two scooters next to each other with two guys, what a lot of times they'll do is the one scooter pulls up and distracts you with the gunman while the other scooter comes up on the other side of the car and jacks you. So that, that's an example of someone who's doing work, not a big deal, right? So we want to keep our eye out, keep that good situational awareness. At Late at night, if we roll up to stoplights and there's no one around and you see the people on the scooters, maybe you don't stop for that traffic light, you just keep rolling. Obviously, don't just run it so you don't cause a crash, but check and move. If you are going to stop, keep that gap in front of the car so that way if you have to move, you have the ability, you're not pinned between the cars. Right? One other little piece of information on this is if you see people wearing like a crappy helmet, right? That's a that's also a sign. Two guys on a scooter with a shitty helmet. Like here comes two dudes on a scooter right now. Maybe not a big deal, but this is something you want to keep an eye on. Check our, they're behind the vehicle, right? Um, and then one last thing. Here we are outside the gas station. Two guys just rolled up on a scooter, right? Red flag. If those two guys get off the scooter with their helmets on and walk into the gas station or walk into the bakery or one of the uh, coffee shops, that's a huge red flag that they might start a robbery when they keep their helmet on because they're, they're using it, one, to cover their identity, but two, to make a fast getaway. So just a few tips on situational awareness when traveling outside the U.S., coming down to these uh, other countries that have a lot of scooter activity. Hopefully that helps. Again, keep your head in the game, keep your eyes open, and watch out for these types of threats.